Hey and welcome back to part two everybody. Today we're doing consequences. It looks like Kramos the Minotaur has stolen the trident. So that would be the pirates from the last stage. So we're gonna track them down. Also, uh, something I noticed while I was getting ready to record. A little bit weird, but it looks like here on this map Great Britain is connected to France. And it also kind of looks like uh, Ireland is connected to Great Bit Britain. I think that was a little artist mistake perhaps. Perhaps setting out on this errand really was all that was needed to appease beside them. Black sails! Port side! And he leads us to Kamos, too. Archers, ready your bows! Prepare to come about! They're going to pay for insulting Poseidon and Atlantis. Alright, so we finally have control of a base now. Okay, let me explain how we're going to do this. First of all, you want to get all your hotkeys ready. And because we are worshipping Poseidon, we want to get our lure down. I'm just queuing up a few move orders there to get scouting. Okay. So here in Age of Mythology, you have one... Between one of three different major gods you start with who give you a lot of different bonuses throughout the game, so that there's variation between even if your two teams as Greece could be drastically different. We're with, with Poseidon right now, and their god power you start with with, that, with them, or with Poseidon rather, he'll be fine. Yeah, he might die. Is Lure. You put it down, and until it's destroyed by an enemy... Just making sure he's doing okay, it looks like they're Egyptian. Yeah, pirates worshipping Set. Uh, until it is destroyed, if it's destroyed, uh, it'll keep leading in nearby huntable animals, which is a very good way to get food, as I will show here. You gather food from hunted animals the fastest. So, we need to build houses, actually, to increase our population, because we're at our supply limit, and it looks like our scout has perished. Although we do know where one of the, one of the enemy bases is, assuming they only have one. We can also use this trireme to scout. And we have a transport ship as well. So I'm actually gonna just do a rough pattern like that, and it'll scout at the shore for me. We also want to get a granary and a storehouse. Let's go ahead and get a granary here. This will be a closer drop-off point for the food. And we can also use to get a storehouse, which is M, right here. Storehouse is the Greek way of dropping off both gold and wood. Unfortunately, in this game, they're not smart enough to go from one hunted animal to the next if it's a different type of animal can be a little bit frustrating. So we're in the Archaic Age right now, which means we can't make any military, so our only military is Arkantos and all of his archers. What did we discover? You salvaged wood and gold from an old shipwreck. That is useful. See? Game gives you little, uh, bonuses for scouting. So let's actually keep with the resource gathering right now. And we want to go to the next stage. We already have a ton of food to start with, I just noticed. So let's actually get a temple going. Actually, you know what? Uh, and you'll pray after. Now we can also set to repeat the queue. I think I'm actually going to do that because general tip in... Um, uh, as a, just as a general rule of thumb in RTSs, of, of this type at least, where you're sending out workers to do specific things, uh, never stop making pigs. Never stop making settlers, or villagers, or whatever the game calls them. You just don't have a reason to stop. Okay, this is good. And I'll wait to get one more person on that. Although, we actually need to select our minor god for the classical age. So this will give us a different uh, unit, so we can either get a Cyclops or a Cenotar, different god power of Ceasefire or Pestilence, and these are the list of upgrades we get with it. Now, uh, in most cases, I tend to go with Ares. Hermes Ceasefire is actually really nice, 
for as kind of a panic button, but in this stage I would much rather have Cyclops and they've got better upgrades for the most part as well. Now I'd also like to increase my gold production rate. Getting attacked? Okay, so we scouted out the whole sea, which really was a lot of the map, as you can see. So we could do a landing party, actually, right here. However, it would be just about as easy to walk. And it does slow worker production, unfortunately. Uh, it does slow worker production quite a bit. Working on getting to the next stage. Now what do we have down here? I was not aware we had multiple triremes. I'm actually gonna go ahead and say then that a drop party is a good idea because we have the transport ship and we have three triremes to help giving give us cover fire from the shore. I think that the sea might actually be the best approach. Okay. And it actually shows us where the enemy town center is. That's odd. In fact, if we check our objectives, do we have... Oh, the spot I forgot there was a spotlight. Greek infantry. Teaching us about Greek infantry. You can pause that and read that if you'd like to. Train an army and destroy the pirate town center. Difficulty moderate. I was just seeing if there are any uh, secondary objectives, because I think they tell you from the start. But I could be misremembering. Poseidon is actually quite a strong... Uh, quite a strong god to go with, uh, because starting with Lure is actually quite powerful. I'd actually like a second Cyclops, which is why. I never remember the hockeys in this game because there's so many unique units. There we go. We want a few Cyclops, they're pretty powerful. I'm actually going to put that on hotkey 6, is what I usually like to do for that. And we need a barracks, which I'll put on hotkey 3. Unfortunately, you can't set a waypoint to instantly have units run straight to your group and join the group, like you can in, say, uh, Rise of Nations. So that is kind of a downside. Uh, I think I'm actually going to farm. There we go. I'm gonna get a few farms going. They're slow but steady. They never run out of food. So it's it's a wise investment. And I actually want to get uh, a flow of hoplites going. Now, an unfortunate thing... Uh, an unfortunate thing about Greece is that all of their human units come in different buildings. So you need to make a place for archers, a place for hoplites, you need to make a place for cavalry, you need to place, make a place for siege, and it can be expensive making all of these different places entirely for the purpose of one specific kind of unit. So, it's kind of a shame. Greece isn't my, my main team anyway. It's, uh, the Norse are my main team. However, right, you can't set waypoints before the building is built. That's another odd thing that they fixed in later games. And I think we're almost ready to push out. I would actually just like to get an archery range. Mostly just to upgrade my archers. This is not a very big force, but it's an early mission, the enemies are not particularly aggressive, we can get away with not doing much. And if you're wondering why I'm killing the pigs last, I'm giving them a lot of time to fatten, so that I can get more food out of them. We got our population cap already. You'll notice me hit the pop cap a lot. That is largely... <laughs> Sorry, that was largely because, um, I am non-stop producing villagers, which are not particularly expensive, at only 50 food. They're not 100 like in most games. And we actually want to dock here, because I think we need another transport ship. Also, I like to have all of my units, um, by default, I like to have my units go to 
uh, the gold mine most of the time, and then I just pull people off the gold mine, because gold mine is the thing you tend to need the most of, or gold rather, once you get a real military going. How many can we fit in here? Most of them. So we actually need an extra transport ship, and then I'll get a tra ha ha Prostagma. Uh, unload. Prostagma. Esto. And we're A moving here. Ah, oh, they killed my pigs! You bastards! Well, I can hunt those anyway. Wow, this is a very uh, meager force. I'm not even gonna call the town bell. Uh, unfortunately, they always go at the speed of the slowest unit in the party, which can really slow things down. This is, yeah. Very weak Egyptian forces. Egypt tends to be uh, qu uh, quantity over quality. I forgot we have you. Die. I executed him to get some more room for population. There, make a few of them. Alright, you always spawn one. I forgot that's a thing with Poseidon. He's always got one of these guys there for scouting. Oh, Haven't scouted there. I wasn't aware you guys were doing nothing. You should do something. It's a good alternative. And you get back to work. Okay. Very late assault, however. Uh, let's get going. And I'll actually have them attack and move in case they run into pirates on the way that I don't want chasing them down and potentially destroying one of the transport ships. So I actually would like to get uh, a sentry tower right there. And a sentry tower right there, and I'm going to upgrade them to have an actual attack rather than just sight range. Because I don't particularly want enemies running in while I don't have many soldiers. And it looks like we're actually pretty safe here. So I will pull up there, and I want my transport ships to immediately drop off the drop party. Who's shooting at us? These are, oh right, the basic Egyptian equivalent of a trireme. I just gotta drop off the units, that's the most important part. There we go. And that pestilence keeps their military buildings from making more units. Have Arcantos fight the myth unit there. And I really want to get rid of that catapult. Right, pull out of there, attack the town center. Unfortunately, the pathfinding is not great, as you'll come to see. The trains have helped, though. And having a lot of Cyclops helps as well as their siege damage. Okay, we need to fight these. And there is the trident. I believe we need to take out the, uh... We just need to take out the town center to get it. And there's Cyclops, they actually have a special ability where they can throw humans. That's usually enough to kill them. And did we lose all of our ships? Nah, eh, all the ones that matter. We'll send the transport back home, though. We're actually gonna grab them. And have them reinforce. Just in case they can't break the stand in time, and I'm actually gonna ignore these guys. Actually, you know what? You can throw him. Ah, he didn't complete the throw. Whatever. 
Okay, that's basically guaranteed victory there. In fact, we probably could have won sooner. That catapult is doing nothing. Jamos is fleeing from the town center. After him! Okay, I'll fight this now that I've got reinforcements. Archers tend to be good against infantry, infantry tends to be good against cavalry, and cavalry tends to be good against, uh, against archers. So there's kind of a triangle thing going there. It's not perfect. There are exceptions, especially in the Heroic Age with Greece. However, that's the general thing. So I believe he ran up here. Or no, he ran over here. And attack back home, just some pirates. Another time, Arkantos. Your luck will end. I will be there to see it. Your head will hang from my mast, Atlantean! At least one of Poseidon's children still favors our enemies. Load the trident aboard the transport. We'll send it back to Atlantis immediately. Alright, that's it for this episode. Next episode, we go into Scratching the Surface, which is where we try and chase him down even more. Going all the way into Greece this time. Until next time, have a nice day.